Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Undisciplined Mind podcast for Thursday, January 28th, 2016. So it is a Thursday morning. I've got me some Starbucks because this is my last day working in the office this week. And this is this Starbucks is brought to me by my buddy Darren, who uh, got a five dollar coupon from Starbucks for doing a survey. And he really doesn't do the coffee thing, so he handed it to me. He said, "Here, I have a caramel macchiato." So I decided to take him at his word, and got me a caramel macchiato. And it is quite quite yummy. So I passed a milestone today. Um, Already, I mean, it was a very productive morning, and it's only 7:26 a.m. I had some um, schoolwork to do. I had a paper that's due today, or it wasn't a full paper. It was just answering some questions. I got that done and sent in, and and then for the big paper we're doing for the management class, rather, you know, it's, we're doing this this stupid thing where we gotta we gotta work as groups we had to pick our leaders as groups we write individual papers and we present as a group and most most teachers will just you know you pick your leaders and she gave us a list to pick from although I don't think the list is very good because there were some that I thought I don't know that you you can really pull some leadership qualities out of some of these people Maybe you can, but some of them, you know, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of hard, hard, hard slog. But so, so most teachers would just say, you know, as your group, tell me what two leaders you want to profile in your paper. And the deal is, we have we're we're contrasting a pre, an early twentieth century leader with a more current late twentieth century, early twenty first century. And so most teachers would just say, all right, give me the names. No, with this teacher, she wants a selection paper with like a paragraph on each leader. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? And she sent an email out yesterday, you know, don't forget to bring your paper, you know, your selection papers. I'm like, son of a... So I went and did that for our group this morning and got that done. I am nearing the happy, happy milestone of halfway through the semester. This is week four. So by this time, in two weeks, we will be pretty much we will be over the halfway point. We're 11 week semesters. Two weeks will be week six. I can do my F. But the other thing I accomplished this morning, that is the milestone I started talking about before I got sidetracked, is I applied for graduation. That was something I had to get done by February 1st. I had to put my name as I wanted it on the... on my diploma. And I had to pay... a fee. And they will audit and make sure I have taken everything I need to take. And... and they won't actually complete the audit till registration for <clears throat> the spring semester, which is the next semester. What I got thinking about is probably going to be by late Feb, because this semester is over like mid March, I think, like around the 18th or something like that. So I will be uh, registering for my last semester here probably within four weeks. <laughs> Ain't that going to be fun? What's really going to be fun is when registration for summer semester comes around and I don't have to register. (laughs) I can just ignore it. That's going to be nice. Uh, So, yeah, graduation is coming. It is coming. And I'm looking more and more forward to what life is going to be like after graduation. There's, there's, 
probably some things I want to look at changing professionally. There are some things I want to do with my writing to turn it professional. And that's something I'm spending a lot of mental time on. You know, I've been kind of keeping a weather eye on Patreon and how people use that. And I find that model interesting. I'm not certain I'm ready to dive into that yet. Yeah, I need I would need to find some way you know to to um, provide some awards for that. And you know, being primarily a novelist, yeah, it's it's I'm not totally sure what those would be. I'm not really that inclined to, to say I'm going to crank out short stories or something. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about lots of things. My eyes are continually focused really on what's happening after June. Or after like June 18th. June 18th is actual graduation day. So... So yeah, it's it's. I kind of feel like I just gotta I just gotta you know power my way through the first half of the year, and then the real fun and exciting stuff can happen in the back half of the year. So I'm trying to power through. I got my first test tonight in the management class, so we'll see how that goes. By all accounts, her exams are rather tough. So, you know, I'll uh, do what I can. The good news is, is that the papers and stuff really have more weight than the exams. So, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I don't really have... I should get a paper back tonight. I had a three-page paper I had to turn in last week, uh, and we're supposed to get those back tonight. So I think that's going to be, that's the first thing that's really like an assignment that she's grading. So I think I'll have a much better feel for what I'm in for when I get that back. So I'm I'm interested in seeing that to see what the reality of this class is going to be. Anyway, I think that'll be that for today. Uh, Tomorrow will be Friday, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.